Hi YouTube, CoinPicker here. Thought I'd make a how-to video to show you how I distinguish between fake and real coins when I'm out uh, coin picking. Uh, first of all, your trusty magnifying glass. Best with the light uh, built in if um, lighting conditions are not that great. A caliper, uh, even an inexpensive plastic one will do. <clears throat> Generally, uh, when I'm looking for silver dollars, they're roughly about 38 millimeters uh, in diameter. Um, maybe slightly more, but not more than, uh, you know, uh, half a millimeter more. And um, if that's not practical to use when you're on the road, um, I carry along a simple 2x2 two two that's made for uh, American silver dollars. Um, because if it, fits, uh, if it fits in here, then it should be fine. But if it's too loose or too wide, then we have a problem. Uh, of course, um, Canadian silver dollars, they're smaller in diameter to begin with, so you'd have to get a special 2x2 two by, uh, two by two that is made specifically for those. Um, magnet, because uh, the fakes these days, sometimes they're made of nickel or steel and silver plated. And a portable um, electronic scale. Generally the silver dollars will weigh between 26 uh, and 27 grams. Now if it's one of those uh, English um, silver crowns then you're, you're looking at upwards of 28 grams. But it shouldn't be underweight because a lot of these base metal coins are around 20 to even 24 um, grams in weight. Now, here we have a bunch of reproduction fake coins and we have a real one. So we'll see how the real one stands up. So we have your typical Morgan dollar. eighteen eighty nine very good detail so you use your magnifying glass to look at the overall detail because sometimes these cheap fakes they'll actually um, use a casting method uh, for machine milled coins and you know always look at both sides as well as the rim rim should be nice and neat all right, and if we had our caliper with us, so well, that's about 38 millimeters. And again, we try that in the holder that it was made for. Sort of difficult doing it with one hand, but I think I can handle it. See, it fits perfectly. Next, magnet test. Doesn't stick. So you can't rely on just one of these tests. They actually all work in conjunction together to help you uh, make a informed decision to the authenticity of the coin. All right. Scale test. 26.6. So that's within limits. Now, we'll do the same thing with some reproductions. So here, right off the bat, the, the details are pretty bad. See, the uh, generally, generally try to put it in some like charcoal or soot to make it look old. Um, most of these fakes have already been um, acid test, uh, tested, so that's a damaging type of test. Generally, don't try that on um, 
coins that uh, pass these tests um, because basically it'll become scrap silver if if um, it turns out to be good so this one doesn't really pass the details test pretty poor let's see how it passes the size size it's okay Mag uh, it's not magnetic and weight the weights well for this particular coin this coin should be towards uh, 27 I believe it's 27.2 grams so it's a little bit underweight so it sort of fails uh, for the weight as well as details this one I believe it is uh, a silver plated copper or brass coin all right next one so we have this trade dollar japanese trade dollar right off the bat it fails the details test because it looks like some sort of cast coin sort of silver washed the uh looks like the brass is sort of shining through the silvering but it fails the size test. That's a pretty huge gap in size. Yeah, so it would rattle uh, around in this. Uh, not magnetic because it's probably brass. And weight wise, should be underweight. Yes, dramatically, under 18 grams. So that fails. Next one, this uh, English crown. Not much details, it's very mushy. Size. Passes the size test. It already feels very light. So that is a clue. Magnet, not magnetic. So it's some sort of alloy. And it weighs 20.35 grams, which is very light. All right, we have this uh, Fat Man Dollar, Chinese Fat Man Dollar. Detail wise, detail's not bad. Size. Size fits pretty good. It's not magnetic. And weight wise, mm, still a little slightly underweight. And it's always good to check the thickness. The thickness is, I think, a tad bit thicker than normal. Actually, with the caliper, it is a little bit over 39 millimeters. So actually, if I had two hands, it probably barely fits this holder. So actually, a holder would have ruled it out because it, it just you can't close it. So that's busted. And then, now this is the worst out of the bunch. It, it looks like it's casted, silver washed, huge. Can't even close the thing. So they're using the extra size, extra width to compensate for weight. I mean, this is like, whoa, 41 millimeters. Should be 38. Magnet. Not magnetic. Weight. It's almost, tw almost 26. Almost good weight. But the size is um, what tips, tips us off. 
So that's some sort of Sun Yet San type of dollar, fantasy dollar. So if you uh, use these tips to look for silver dollars, uh, generally you'll be pretty good. Uh, it would be very difficult to pass all these tests most of the times because, um, you know, these fakers, they're not going to put good silver in these coins if they're selling it for like $10. You know, don't, don't get fooled by the price. Now, I hope this video helps you guys and gives you a little bit of insight of how I go about looking for good coins at a good price. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.